I'm Dave and this is Austin Eats. I'm making bacon from scratch. I have a pork belly that I will season and then brine for about six days. I'll then smoke it low and slow with some apple wood and finally slice it up and fry it up. Homemade bacon. It's easy to make, it tastes great, and it's right here on Austin Eats. I have a six pound pork belly that I'm going to cut in half. First, it's important to make sure that you don't have skin on the fat side of the pork belly. Sometimes they come with skin, sometimes they don't. This one does not. One side of the pork belly tends to be thicker than the other side. I want to use the thick side of the pork belly for the bacon, and I'll save the thinner side to make smoked pork belly burnt ends. Be sure to watch that video. Now I'm going to cover my pork belly with a mixture of brown sugar, pink curing salt, and a whole lot of black pepper. Push that in, make it stick, push it in all the way around. And now this is going to go into a food saver bag. I've rolled down the top of the food saver bag because that makes it a little bit easier to keep all of these dry seasonings out of the seal. Push it all the way down. I made it a lot longer than need be, but you'll see why in a moment. Then I'm going to scrape up all of that extra seasoning and it goes into the bag. Once all of that is in the bag, I'll simply shake it down to the end, uncurl the end of the bag, and put it in my food sealer. Then this will go into an aluminum pan and into the refrigerator for about six days. Time to light a barbecue. Six days later, I took the bacon out of the bag, rinsed it well, and patted it dry, and this is what I have left. It's pulled a lot of the moisture out of the bacon, and this is just looking fantastic. This now is going to go on the smoker. I'm using my stick smoker today, low and slow for about four hours. This is going to be so good. After four hours in the smoker, I took the bacon out, let it cool to room temperature, and then wrapped it up and put it in the refrigerator overnight. The next day, I sliced it up and fried it up, and this was just so good. Hey, if you liked the video, let me know, and please subscribe. I've got new videos coming out every week. See you next time on Austin Eats.